Hey guys, we're back. Kent's back there. What up? We have been shopping all day. We've been shopping. We've um, been shopping. We've been shopping all day, um, buying stuff for the apartment. So we're gonna show you guys what we got. So yeah, we found these uh, martini glasses, little metal stainless steel kind of situations. What's funny about them is like, we could not find a price for these at all. You like, know how loud that is? <laughs> <laughs> so we literally had to like, we just snatched them all up and took them to the register and the lady was like, oh, I'll just I'll just do $2 a piece for them. Yeah, she was like, we were like, uh, there's no price on them. She was like, at all? They weren't near anything with price? No. She was like, okay, well, how about we just say $2 each? We were like, okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Sold. Sold me on that. First up from Target is this kitchen tool set. It has literally everything that you would need. It has a whisk, a spatula, um, turners in it, spoons, tongs, just everything, everything in here. Right now, there is nothing over there. We wanna put it right here in this, in this section where it's like empty next to the fridge. Um, we have other utensils, but they're not really cute. <laughs> they're not cute to like have sit out on stove for display for that little kitchen effect while also being functional and usable. So these are like wooden and what material is this? Like silicone? So next we got this drain board because we have this, uh, dish rack over here also from Target which by the way I will like link everything that I'm talking about in the description box so you guys can check it out yourself but we got this like drain board and I love it so much because it's clear and right now we have like a black drying mat underneath here and it's just not the vibes so I'm very happy to have a clear one that can go can go over there now I've seen it all over the place by now it's this what is this called? O Cedar Mop, Spin Mop Bucket System. Um, I have actually been dying to have this from since before it went viral, so to speak, and like everybody has them now. I tried to get it out of Walmart last week, but they were sold out. And while we were in Target today, um, we picked this up and it was on sale actually, so that was even better. The last thing we got from Target is this ginormous, it's bigger than my head, ginormous bowl, glass, yeah. glass bowl, it's very heavy. Um, but we just got it because we wanted like a, how would you say, like a fruit bowl or like a, you know, like, you know how you have like a, a fruit bowl or like, something similar that you put your vegetables in your bananas in your fruit and we wanted something like that to sit on the island I don't know if we're going to permanently keep this here sitting here like this but for now it works okay this is officially the last thing that we got from Target is this pillow it's like a knit throw pillow and it's so so nice it's like this chocolatey brown perfect for fall we already had this throw blanket which is the same exact color as this and i really want like two large square pillows so as you're looking at the bed if you could picture like two large square pillows and then like a smaller vertical pillow that like sits at the bottom i feel like that would just look really really cute in here obviously once we get some end tables and some lamps some artwork like I feel like it'll just add to the luxe vibe that we're going for in here but for right now I really really love this pillow and super happy that we were able to snag it all right so that was everything we got from Target for once in our life you guys we did not go to Walmart we missed one thing wait what you, you showed did you show the utensils all over no where is that we got this utensil holder i'm sure this looks like absolutely nothing to you from here but if you could see it there you go it says utensils on the front and it's like what material is this i don't even know it's like stoneware 
it's like a stone material um utensil yeah. holder super cute super like minimal matches perfectly yeah. with our white kitchen <laughs> and yeah so this is what we're gonna use to put hold it to put the utensils in over on the stove and this was on sale too this was eleven dollars yeah originally like 15. it was originally yeah it was originally 15. oh and it, and it does say stoneware on it so yeah but we went to dollar tree and we just basically got a whole bunch of cleaning supplies so we got some what is this um pine glow for the floor in the bathroom so we can mop because obviously we have a mop now um the also pine glow disinfectant spray we got some lime away for the toilet and we got a whole bunch of brushes <laughs> cleaning brushes so like the toilet brush yeah that stuff right behind you okay the sponge and brushes i got this for the sink because we have a very deep kitchen sink and I have a huge desire to clean it every single day, every single night when we clean the kitchen before we go to bed. Of course, you need one of these scrubbers. Also got some trash bags, some awesome, because you need awesome for everything. If you don't have awesome to clean your, your stuff with, like this is the secret to getting stains out of literally anything. Some more like kitchen supplies and some gloves. That concludes our little hall yes shopping for the apartment hall if you will it's quite quite a day yes quite a day. <laughs> you got a good bit of stuff but nothing really cost a lot no i want to say we literally spent under 200 dollars all together quite possibly yeah i i want to say so what up what up say hi what up oh. so i don't know what time it is it is 1241 and it is a Saturday. We are getting ready to host our first little something. <laughs> our our baby housewarming, if you will. Our trial run of a housewarming. Um with just a few friends, not many of us at all, a few couples. And yeah, so we're getting we're like cooking. Kent is currently making some sliders i already started on the collard greens we're boiling water for the macaroni also i'm gonna fry some chicken some like wingettes my mom made some potato salad over here because she's a gym we also have some alcohol some wine you know all the things yesterday was kent's birthday yep. so happy birthday boo thank you man we didn't do anything though he he went to work yesterday so we didn't like celebrate it very much but we did go out to dinner we went to like a new restaurant mm -hmm. a new restaurant yeah, new to us it's called yeah, cousins bye. yeah it's called cousins in marlboro new jersey i think yeah yeah we were our, yeah. We, yeah it was pretty good we were already over there so we were like hey let's just go to that because we had passed it yeah. last last time when we went yeah, to so, habitat yeah. for, for humanity yeah so when we went there we were like oh we should come back to this spot so yesterday when he came home from work and we were like we at least have to go to dinner we were trying to think of like where we could go to dinner and i was like well where is somewhere that we haven't been before and he thought of that so we checked it out it was pretty good but yeah i just wanted to let you guys know what was going on for today. I don't know how much vlogging will happen because we're like super busy, but hopefully we can keep you guys in the loop and you can kind of see what we're doing. We also went to Target last night and got some balloons. Now, you know, we love the earth tones and the browns and they did not have brown balloons, which I feel some type of way about, but they did have gold and black and white, I guess this is, white balloons, cream, whatever. So we got the little pump to blow up a few of them. We're not gonna do a lot. We're probably not gonna use all of them, but I do wanna put some balloons on the door so people know where they're going, where the party is at. And how do you, you know, just have a few laying around in here 
um because they're not gonna inflate and like go up which i'm sad about Our guests will be arriving soon. Exciting. Not yet. She over there, hard at work over there. Doing her thing. We got the little spread. Check it out. We got. Yeah. Good morning, guys. <laughs> so. Woo. It's been a little bit of a minute since we vlogged. Also, don't mind my favorite show ever on TV right now, Bob's Burgers. Um, slight obsession, I'm not going to lie. I am trying now that we have been in the apartment now officially for over a month it's been this will be like our fifth week here um you know i'm trying now to get acclimated with a bit more of a everyday schedule morning schedule and it's working out this week has been a little bit weird because Kent has been working a like different kind of schedule. He's been like helping out at work and like filling in for people and whatever. So that's been kind of off, but today is his last day of doing that. So things should be going back to normal for the rest of the week, which by the way, today is Thursday. Today's Thursday. Today I am going to kind of try and get my life together because there are still quite a few boxes that need to be unpacked our closet is a mess it is an absolute mess we have like i don't know basically we still just haven't like unpacked i'm not gonna say unpacked we still haven't hung up all of our clothes and still haven't put all of our clothes in drawers like folded and like properly stored away um so there's just like a lot of things all over the place these past few days it's just been dark and cold and gloomy and like i haven't been wanting to do anything but i have some energy today so i'm gonna try and tackle that i also have gotten a whole bunch of my work done towards the beginning of the week so i have some free time and i am ready to tackle you know this whole situation the lantern flies are back on the window it's sunny outside and i discovered that they don't like cold weather it's like i don't know i still need to eat breakfast so i'm going to go ahead and make me some breakfast really quick and get into the day so today i'm going to make some cream of wheat because I don't have any, I have some milk, but I don't have enough milk for cereal. So I'm gonna make my trusty dusty cream of wheat. If you don't eat cream of wheat, I'm not judging you. I feel like it's definitely an acquired taste. I had to kind of put Kent on to cream of wheat himself, but it's fine i happen to have a southern family um my great grandmother grandmother grandmas are all from the south and my great grandma used to make me cream of wheat i always loved the way she made me cream of wheat and so did my grandma and so this is kind of like one of those like comfort meals for me you know um especially when i don't have milk for cold cereal. So, small update. Kent and I have not been going to the gym as we usually were. Um, it's actually been a hot minute since we went to the gym because 
with the move and everything and then when we were ready to start going our gym was closed for like I want to say renovations it's not really renovations I think they were just I don't know what they were doing but they were closed for a while and then we were like okay great so last night we finally went and um, I'm excited about it because I'm trying to like baby step my way back into like going to the gym doing yoga etc so I have to start wearing my Fitbit again because I have not been wearing it and I woke up today and it was like completely dead because I haven't been wearing it so I charged it and it is finally charged um, so I could put it on even though my steps for today is not going to be accurate because I've been up since like 9 o'clock and it's already 11.30 so I know that I have like I've been moving around so like the steps are not gonna be right but it's fine but as we wait for the water to boil I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to kind of catch you guys up on oh well I have officially signed I don't know if this is like relevant to this channel at all because this is just kind of like our channel that we share and etc but if you don't know if you're new here i am a full-time content creator and i have recently signed to a management company an agency which is very it's it's a pretty big deal i can't i can't even downplay it it's a pretty big deal um especially for me to be in a position to like have a team like that it sounds so weird i've been saying this like for like the past couple days now it's like the idea of me having a team a team that like handles my business for me is like very strange i've been doing this now for some years um and i've always just done everything myself i've always done all of my like brand deals myself my negotiations myself my like just everything emails um just everything i've always done myself including obviously creating content filming my own stuff like ken helps me like take pictures sometimes but for the most part i do everything myself so like having a team that i literally adore like they're the sweetest they're super supportive and I'm just super excited about that. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but having that for myself um, so that I can just solely create and be a creator on my own is just like perfect. It's like a dream, a recent dream, but a dream that I'm very thankful to the Lord that, you know, I've been able to make happen. Crazy. Okay, so I've made some progress in the closet. There was literally stuff all over the floor. So yeah, we're making progress. I hung up and kind of changed the hangers that I had because I found at Walmart these velvet hangers with the gold um, top and they're super cheap this is the pack here it's by better homes and gardens and as you can see it's like a 30 piece set of velvet black hangers and they're ten dollars guys literally ten dollars for 30 hangers 30 velvet hangers and i don't know if y'all you know frequent amazon but if you do then you know like this is like an amazon kind of fine <laughs> kind of deal that's in walmart they have some like 10 packs of velvet hangers for like $10. So had to pick this up. I definitely need, I don't know. I'm probably need like 
two more boxes of these. I still have to take the clothes out of this bin and hang them up here, which down here is mainly jeans, pants, whatever. But I was looking on Amazon and I did see these like pants hangers that I want to get. But until then, I have to like do something. Um, in the drawers and like the other closet, we have like our other clothes, but in here, this is what we're working with. And I don't know, I feel like we could fit some type of cubby or something down here. Obviously, some of our sneakers are here. We still have this whole like top part that I kind of want to organize too and like, I don't know, figure out a way to like store our hats and our boots. I still have to put my boots and stuff up there. But yeah, it's coming along, it's coming along. All right, so we have made some progress. There is no longer anything on the floor except for the rug and this bin, but nothing on the floor. Have to fold the clothes in this basket and put these clothes away. But yeah, I'm very happy with how the pants, I don't know if you guys can really see that, it's not much light, but <laughs> the hangers in here are like all over the place all discolored in comparison to how like pretty and like clean and like aesthetically nice the hangers are with these so i highly would recommend these hangers on top of the fact that they're just velvet hangers and they're no slip so i have say for example like these little spaghetti strap sundresses and even like satin shirts you know different things Things like that like they're not falling off and I love that so yes so right now at least I can say that it just feels really good to have the closet be clean and like I still have to like sweep and actually clean the closet dust like our shoes and whatever but unloading things is making me feel a little bit lighter so i appreciate that hey guys happy saturday um we are getting ready to head out to take some photos so yeah we haven't um shot any type of content in a very long time especially not photo content or like fashion related things there's papa bear give him a, a little ootd what do you have on where is it from Zara, Old Navy. Okay, wait. The shoes are from Zara? No. Are you starting shoes, from the bottom or top? The shoes are Doc Martens. I don't know where you got them from, but these were- Oh yeah, the, he has his, his Doc Martens on. I got them from the Doc Martens store. Okay. Um, these jeans are Old Navy. Mm -hmm. I love Old Navy jeans. Um, Old Navy and Levi's are my two favorite jeans. Okay. Um, this white shirt underneath, I think, is H&M. It's just a short sleeve button down. Okay. And then got a Zara sweater. And then I hat. Love. Hat also from Zara. Okay, so he's he's giving very much uh, 90s inspired. What's that show called? A Different World Tease is what's happening. Let's let's go through. Ugh, so bright. All right. So what, okay, what we got? So glasses from firma okay you guys let's know see let, yeah let's see the glasses boom okay okay yeah then um vest is from zara nice yes shirt underneath it's actually a dress it's a button-down dress yeah from zara yes jeans are from pretty little thing you know you know I the girls the love same it exact jeans in like three different blue shades you know the girls love it yes sneakers are jordan ones yes Straight out the Nike store, you feel me? Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. And then bag is from, I don't know how to pronounce it, the C, C store, but it says protect black people. Because you know the vibes. So we at the mall now, just finished taking our pictures. They were fire too. Yeah, they came out fine. They came know. out really good. It's been a long time. We're resting. Yeah, so definitely that, that. So it's not. It wasn't a bad experience for having not done it in a long time. 
Yeah, I, I, I can... almost got attacked by a pigeon though. <laughs> yeah, but the pigeons up here are disrespectful anyway. So yeah, that's how they're bred. Like I'm not even, not even surprised. We just wanted to come to the mall, walk around or whatever. So should be fun. It's been a long time. Hey guys, good morning. So vlog update, life update. I took my hair out. As you can see, the locks are back and they're flourishing. I will say they're definitely flourishing. Quickly checking in just to kind of let you guys know that and also too that we haven't been vlogging as much this past week because we've just been, there hasn't been very much happening outside of us just cleaning, which you guys saw me like organizing the closet and things hasn't really been any other organizational things happening other than just cleaning, doing laundry, things like that. But today um, is just pretty much a work day for me. I'm getting ready to go into my first team meeting, strategy meeting. Um, I told you guys that I did sign with an agency, so that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. And then after that, I will be filming, so. <laughs> Hey guys, um, obviously the day has passed. It is most definitely five o'clock right now, 5.03. Um, I, like I told y'all, was going to have a full-blown work day today and I did. So I, um, after my meetings, cause I had a team meeting and then I had a meeting right afterwards with a brand that I am doing a collaboration with. Um, after that, I decided to make me some lunch. Um, and then right after that, I got into filming. So I filmed a few TikToks today, a few videos today i made um some makeup content and then like i said a few tiktoks so that basically took up my whole entire day and like i said it's five o'clock kent is getting home a little later today because he had like an event at work or something and so he stayed a little longer but it is about to be dinner time. I'm already getting kind of munchy, and so I'm about to have me a snack, but we need to have dinner. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but today's Thursday, so we don't have any food. <laughs> like, we haven't gone grocery shopping. Tomorrow is date night, so tomorrow we're going out, and we will be going out to eat, and then Saturday, more than likely, we will go to the store and get food, but tonight we don't have nothing to eat like there's no food um so or no dinner rather so like nothing i could cook so we definitely are going to have to pick something up when he gets in now what that's going to be i have no idea by the way um oh yeah and i'm definitely getting ready to play my game because it's been forever um it is pouring rain outside you probably can't see it on the camera and i can't really zoom in for you to see any like raindrops or anything but it is yeah you could kind of see it a little bit it is definitely pouring rain and i am not looking forward to going out in that at all mm -hmm. 